We're back on our show this Wednesday. Great to have Chris Boniola back with us. Chris, of course, the former Ash star, kicker for the Dallas Cowboys. He has come back home on the LC coaching staff. He brought his Super Bowl ring. Oh, I'm sure he wears that every day. Hopefully Quite he can impressive. get it back from your friends. Oh, absolutely. He, he's so <laughs> kind enough to let me. But, you know, zero in on that. Look at that. It's incredible. Beautiful, yeah. Absolutely. Super Bowl 30, right? Chris? That's right. What girl doesn't like diamonds, right? Oh, no, I know. <laughs> and gold. Look at all that gold. Oh, my gosh, that's incredible. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. What brings you back to Central Louisiana? You know, I think, um, you know, back. I've been coaching for a while now. Right. And, um, you know, whenever you finish your career, playing career, you get into something you love, and that's football. And, uh, you know, being in the NFL, the Dallas Cowboys for four years, and then the Oakland Raiders last year, mm -hmm. you know, this is an opportunity that came along late this summer and uh, an opportunity that's just too good to pass up to come back home, uh, be near family, be near friends, but an opportunity to be special teams coordinator and uh, an offensive coach is a, is a good opportunity. And I love the fact that your father still coaches where at Country, Country Day. Day. Like Country you have Day. a son that's going to Country Day. You have a son that's going to Ash. Are they following in father's footsteps? Well, you know, it's uh, at this point, I don't really care what they do. You know, they, they're, they're mature enough to make their decisions and what sports they play and activities they pursue, and, and I support that. Uh, whatever they do, I want them to be self-motivated. Mm -hmm. I want them to, uh, you know, be driven to succeed on their own efforts and their own initiative uh, first without me having to drag them to the ball field, so to speak. And okay. Chris, this, this gives you a chance to be a special teams coordinator, something I'm sure you kind of... Correct. You know, in the NFL, I was an assistant special yeah. teams coach, which, which means you're behind the scenes, you're doing all the grunt work, <laughs> and somebody else is responsible for making all the decisions. Yeah. Uh, and there's plenty of opportunities that uh, I could have continued in that same role in colleges. Uh, mm -hmm. But it, it just, that's not, I've been there and done that, and I, it's time to step up into a more responsible role. And, uh, you know, Dennis Dunn at LC. Yeah, enjoy uh, working with Dennis oh, I'm Dunn looking so forward to that. Yeah. It's going to be a great staff. I think, I think you can look for good things to come from the Wildcats this year. Mm -hmm. and, and, again, it's opportunity. And everywhere I've been, it, it's, it's about people. Yeah. And it's, here's some video right now from the, the press conference last Friday, I believe, right, at LC. Right. What are you hoping to bring? Um, you know, what is your message to those young gentlemen over in that Louisiana college? Well, football is a competitive field, mm -hmm. and, uh, but so is, is the real world. Mm -hmm. And uh, football's a hard game. I think football trains young men uh, to be tougher, uh, to be hard workers, uh, to overcome adversity. And in the end, you still may not win, but, but it's a, you, know, you have to try and you have to work hard and prepare to be your best for when your opportunity comes along. What does it feel like coming back home, Chris, to, to continue your coaching career? Oh, it's exciting. Uh, I tell you, you know, we were in Oakland for one year mm -hmm. and uh, I saw my family, my mom and dad, a total of eight days. <laughs> in one year and, and so yeah. I really appreciate being back and mm -hmm. uh, there's so many like I mentioned people are important there's so many people like we care about here and uh, looking forward to reconnecting and then I know uh, will you be working on the sideline with kids like kickers from across central Louisiana in the uh, soccer arena or in football I've, I've done a lot age. of private coaching and yeah. camps in the past. Uh, you know, unfortunately, that's a young man's business, <laughs> being out on that heat all yeah. day long. You and, are a young man. And yeah, Chris great. is still young. What are you talking about? Yeah. And so, you know, if I have the opportunity and availability to help mm -hmm. young players, I'd love to because that's a passion of mine. Yeah. Uh, but right now, my goal and my focus is to help Louisiana College be competitive in special teams on the field. You look very lean and mean. How do you stay in shape? I, I eat early. Eat dinner. <laughs> I, eat, I say I eat with old people. We eat dinner about five o'clock, and and uh, but it's just a modest, you know, uh -huh. exercise. Nothing crazy. Take care of my body and can get you good still sleep. Kick, can you still kick field goals? No, those days are about you gone right now. Yep. <laughs> what's what's your take on the, the Tom Brady situation? Tom you know? Brady. Um, I think it's been way overblown. Uh, oh, yeah. I, when I played ball, mm -hmm. uh, we doctored the balls. Right. We we did as much as we could to break the balls in. And, uh, and any time you can find a competitive advantage, take it. Right. And uh, because it's your performance that's on the line, which is your job on the line. And so I have no problem with guys trying to uh, increase their opportunity of success mm -hmm. within the rules. And really, a lot of times, until the rules are enforced, some guys don't even know what the rules are. But, you know, the rules keep changing, though. They change all the time. Yeah, they change yeah. to protect the safety of players. They yeah. change to uh, keep the integrity of the game. And I think now that there's a rule in place and accountability in place, 
you're gonna you're not gonna see that happen very much. No, no, not at all. I don't think you see Tom Brady deflate any more footballs. So when can we see you on the field over at Louisiana, Louisiana College? Louisiana College, we start August twelfth is when our players report. It's just and around the corner. It's around the corner. Can't wait to get started. Can't wait to get these guys in. We've had a lot of players, about seventy five players in uh-huh. the summer training and conditioning, getting ready in that heat. So it's here upon us, and we have our first game early September. Hectic yeah. for you right now, huh? Just moving and coming just back. Just getting into town and unpacking suitcases and just trying to get ready for the first day of practice. Your boys happy to be here. They're excited and looking forward to getting school started and getting into a routine. I think all parents are ready for their kids to get into a yeah. little bit of a routine. Yeah. Right. Chris, Thanks. thank you so much. Thanks You're for welcome. Coming. Welcome back. Thank you. thank you. More to come here on Good Day Sin Stay tuned to CBS 2. I was 